Lord Fallon, Viscount Greyland. Between them, they own Berkshire. My mother delights in little secrets, so find out whatever you can. Monsignor. I say, it's French. And where are you from, Missy? The gutter. <laughs> They've uh, polished me up, but I'm still exceeding dirty. <laughs> Sugar pigs. <laughs> Mama. Mm. Mm. Grayling is borrowing from Fallon. <gasps> Who found it out? Emily Lacey. She's utterly bedazzling. <laughs> How goes the play, my lord? Badly. Emily Lacey is at this moment playing with her perfect breasts, waiting to be skewered on your pointed weapon. The ledger says there's a French pox in your house. It's a lying rag. Our girls are clean. I swear quickly, if I pick up anything from one of your whores, I'll choke you on a mercury cure. There's our prize, Lord Fallon. If we get him, we get him all. Any more bets? Don't be shy now. I've been to a thousand such tedious masquerades. But this time you'll find your every desire is well met, my lord. I have only one desire, Miss Wells. And when you exchange your boy for a man, I hope to indulge in it. Sir Christopher, you know my heart is only one familiar. Your love is as boundless as a leaking jug. I'm moved by your tender affections. All on moves. So what say, Fallon? I like my pleasures guaranteed. I prefer mine stolen and illicit. Quick before you go too far. Moves again. My mother would count it a special honour if you'd attend, my lord. Since when did I give a damn about your mother? My mother is the Archbord of London. Did you not know? So we're all to wear masks and pretend we're in Hades. <clears throat> not all of us have to pretend. I must decline your thrilling offer. You disappoint me. I'd heard Lord Fallon was a man of discernment. To Hades. And all who dare to travel there. Yes, we lick nectar from each other's stomachs, and those of firm and manly impulse. That's Lord Fallon. I told you I'd get him. I never doubted. Welcome to my midnight realm. Our visit won't be long. Pandemonium! <laughs> <laughs> You're like Persephone, aren't you? I don't know, sir. She was tricked into the underworld by eating pomegranate seeds. Come, Fallon, the game's away. I'll take you to my underworld one day. The choir of heavenly bishops, with buttocks so pilescent as the moon, will descend on the house of Wales. Go and seek the best culls and bring them away as fast as possible. Lord Fallon, Mr. Osborne, no wonder you're leaving. Here is much finer sport. Go and finger your mother quickly. Mrs. Well, Fallon cannot stop. Mrs. Well, Lord Fallon, sir. May I compliment you on the superbly filthy revels of last night? Our odyssey has been a blur of delights. But your young daughter stands out. I'd like to meet her.
important. I prefer to eat. Sit. Delicate fruit. Like you. My very own Persephone. Seeds seal your fate. And feel the juice run down your throat. keeping and treat her as such. She's young. Her needs must be protected by a contract. I will have one drawn up and sent to you, along with adequate remuneration for you, of course. You honour us, your lordship. I know. I hear you're presiding over a cause celebre. Miss Wells has transgressed nature's most sacred law and killed above herself. Punish her hard. The court will deal with her. And what about our little backroom court? Or does a girl wait in the dock? We must postpone. The house and the girl are compromised. I will need to replace both. Then do so. They are not the only things that must change. I want a seat at the table, as you promised me. Not to take part in the sport. I have no appetite for that. But I must know the devil I dine with. I can take your request to the others, but I suspect it will be denied. Then you will take my farewell and best wishes. Tread carefully, John. The Wells House, Greek Street. Lord Fallon. 
The Spartans will receive you. I am most gratified. You'll bring a handmaiden to demonstrate your fealty in quality. Exceptional. Intact. My lord, I need time. Such maidens are not easily found. The procuress I formerly used has proven inadequate. I trust there is no danger. Let me assure you of her silence. We meet tonight. A hunting you must go. Well done, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Lord Fallon. Go away, Ball. I don't want you. <clears throat> I've come to give warning. Justice Cunliffe is planning to betray you. And next time he says he has a girl, it is a snare. I have no idea what your prattle means. Some men are not fit to serve the Spartans. He seeks to bring you down. Will you play, Madam Quigley? Engaged in as a great risk. I am the finest player in the field. I find a girl and I leave no trace. For the Spartans to endure their pursuits, they would do well to come to me. You don't need a spineless go between whose master is the law. You need a high priestess. From the High Priestess, Lydia Quigley. I'm in fetters for 500 pounds, and the Wells bitch is baying. The High Priestess. What does it mean? The Priestess has my name. And thinks I'll pay her damnable fine. Let her rot. What does the Wells bitch know? Nothing. She was there when you dispatched Justice Cunliffe. We should tell the Archon. I assure you, there's no danger. You must simply muzzle the baying bitch. I propose some sport and cutting out her tongue. Persephone, where have you been these past weeks? I've been pining. Let me have you. No. Come now. I wrote to your mother offering excellent terms to be your keeper. I burnt it. I don't like eating seeds or weird fruit. I won't be your mistress. Her hands are cold, like those of a corpse, and only fuck the living. The Wells bitch won't be silenced. She 
she shot and kidnap and murder in the street. That's the youngest daughter. There. Peach. Should we pluck her from the family tree? No. I want her to save her. Is Mrs. Wells at home? Lord Fallon. I'm here to see her daughter. They're both out. Ah, oh, pity. I'd hoped to take Miss Wells dancing at Runway. But you're just as lovely. Perhaps I could entice you in her stead. Me? My carriage and my coinage. Oh, wait. Good God. The priestess has slipped her shackles. Come. Are you demented? afforded us. Low-hanging fruit. We've put a noose around our necks and handed the rope to Margaret Wells. Boards are easily dispatched. So you would add to your heap of murders. This new judge is Adam Tide. Nothing do you understand? No more games. How dare you give me orders? Be advised by your devoted priestess. And give the banshee Margaret Wells no further cause to wail. <laughs> you better pray the Archon doesn't learn of your failure. Failure? It was you who failed to frighten the Wells woman. What a pathetic figure you must have cut. It's in hand. A daughter she treasures like a pearl. She'll do nothing to endanger her. Threats are clearly ineffective. I don't intend to threaten the girl. Are you born tired, my man? I've been knocking for an age. I don't work here, my man. Lucy, it's a dog. Lucy Wells. I'm sorry about your friend. Did you ever meet her? Several times. She was very memorable, Kitty. The jet hair. And olive skin. She was. She was Auburn. An alabaster. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. I'm afraid redheads stir nothing in me. Do I? Only a crushing vortex. Can I see you again? This is a brothel. You can have whatever you want for enough coinage. Whoa. Miss Wells, may I tempt you out for a drive? I'll come. You may, if she does not. Where to? Wherever you wish. I'm your servant. Your ma won't like it. My ma needn't know. You exalt my humble cart, dearest Persephone. Don't call me that. Right on. When will you cease your teasing? I can make another proposal and have it sent to your mother today. 
You can negotiate with me. You are open to it. If the terms suit. I agreed 400 a year before. 500. <laughs> You're a gauche girl. I'll be your first keeper. There's much I can teach you. 400 is my limit. Can you teach me how to drive the horse? Of course. It's quite simple. Here, you take the reins in the palm of each hand, thus. Try to get a feel for the rhythm of the horse. Like this. Here. Are you scared? Immensely aroused. Five hundred a year. Five hundred. <laughs> I'll think about it. Walk on. You didn't come to me last night. Anticipation is half the joy. You're teasing me, Lord Fallon. This is Miss Wells, and she will be your mistress. You will treat her as if she were my wife. There have been mutterings about you, Fallon. That our vessel is leaking. That you are the fissure. I have righted any wrongs I may have caused. A Spartan does not blunder. The High Priestess was endangered by a baying board, but I have silenced her. How? I have a hostage. Her own daughter. She is exquisite and totally in my thrall. Miss Lucy Wells. Lucy, this is the Marquess of Blaine. Pleasure, my lord. Madam. Enjoy your evening. Where are you going? Out. Well, Fallon, it seems we're going out. Let's go elsewhere. Did you hear, Fallon? Your keeper has spoken. We're staying. You will be the light that illuminates this room. Ma, what are you doing here? You never come here. Showing off my new girls. There was an attack on the house this morning. We have to pay for new windows. An attack? Is anyone hurt? All are safe. And we won't be daunted. You look like a queen. And I am nothing but her loyal subject. Lord Fallon? <laughs> Fallon has a minx in his house. He gives him orders like a major. Go over and take a slice of her. I'm gonna see how the boy reacts. My lord, Fallon will not. Fallon, I have friends for you to meet. See what tricks you can do. Do you need a rod to your hide? <laughs> Damn you, Liddington! Keep your hands off her, or I'll 
brand than myself. Mrs. Wells, that mummy is buttoned to the same. Are you all right? He doesn't scare me. It does scare you. You said you'd treat me as your wife. But I'm not your wife. I'm your whore. And you will treat me as such. And how would you have me do that? I see you're playing the quarters there. Yes. Lucy is quite at ease here. I assume that's why you've come. To make certain of her comfort. At the dispute last night. It was nothing, Ma. Lord Liddington. Is that man a friend of yours, Lord Fallon? Certainly not. He's a drunk and a fool. I assure you, he'll never come near your daughter again. You stay away from him. I'm happy, Ma. Don't fret. Let me show you up. You have an instinct for violence. I can see that in you. I want to show you how to use it. Again. Good. <laughs> More aggressive. Who's your first? A stable boy. Chosen by me. How many men have you had since? I'm a harlot. 
I don't keep count. How many have given you pleasure? Only you. Well, that makes me your true first. thinking about Kitty. Who killed her? These things before the week. You think it was her fault? There are hunters and there are prey. Killing is an art. A killer has a certain nobility, a superiority of character. I thought killing was a desperate act. Quite the contrary. It is the preserve of a select few. Is my most prized possession. Acquired from the furthest reaches of Greece. The dagger of a Spartan warrior. The Spartans were a superior race. They killed their lessers, their helots, as a rite of passage. What made them lesser? Their blood. Have you ever used it? I consider myself a Spartan. That's good. I'm a Spartan too. Will you frolic with me? It smells funny. It relaxes the mind, like laudanum. My ma's against all that. She won't take on girls that have anything to do with it. And you always do what your mother tells you. Even if she'll never know. Surely you're too young to have demons. Perhaps I am a demon. What did you mean earlier? When you said you were a Spartan? The same as you. You've killed. <laughs> With one stab. <laughs> Who? I can't say. You'll sort of stick together. And I know, really. I'm a helot. You killed a superior in class. Superior in stupidity. Sir George Howard, perchance. You are indeed a Spartan, a worthy consort. Stay. You left without telling me. What on earth possessed you to come on foot? You could have had my carriage. I didn't like to wake you. But I'm at your service every hour of the day. I wanted to see Charlotte. Miss Wells, and delight, always. Lucy was 
telling me of her happy fortune. I found myself bereft without her. Come and see me. I will. <laughs> he played my eunuch. We deflowered a vestal last night. <laughs> And your friends would have relished it. Mrs. Quigley, the Molly boy. What of? I heard him conspire with Charlotte. About what? Out with it. He slandered Lord Fallon. Oh. He accused you of killing Justice Cunliffe. What an absurd mistake. Charlotte has sent him to her mother in Greek Street. He's a turncoat, perilous to us both. Finish him. I need to meet with my banker. I'll follow you, my love. Take her home. the Charis made me speak of some strange inventions. Don't tell anyone what I said. It was the stuff of smoke wreaths. You are more remarkable every day. You deserve to be here, elevated by my side. Queen of your realm. London is a charnel house. I have a sudden desire to see you under a brighter sun. Travel with me. Where? To the temples of Greece. Where we lay among the ruins on the bones of the dead. Needs you, not I. Let me talk to you alone for a moment. <sighs> this is Fallon's house. We have no secrets. Mrs. Scanwell's daughter was found stabbed and dying in the street, not this half hour past. He did it. That's absurd. Cannot be so. You insult me most bizarrely. She's lying at Greek Street now, halfway between this world and the next. Why would he do such a thing? She was in his way. So he slashed her down. I'm sorry to hear it, Ma, but what you speak of is madness. It's not his first slaughter. He stuck Justice Cunliffe, and he was witnessed in the act. The corrupt judge who would have hanged my sister. I cannot say it any clearer. This man is a killer. So am I. What have you told him? Lucy and I are in perfect harmony. What you did, my love was in defense of your own person. You know the blame does not rest at your door. 
This man is cold murder. Forgive me, but I can no longer have her in my house. Then put her out. Let us understand each other. Ma, say nothing to the hirelings of the law, or I'll tell them that sweet Lucy killed my friend Sir George. My silence will not save you. Miss Gamble may survive. She knows your bad advice. Wounds fester, and she's like to die. It would be better for your Lucy if she did. Be silent, or your lovely daughter hangs. Going somewhere, Lord Fallon? The Archon wants to see us. I'm taking my mistress out of town. No, you're not. I told him that a justice has been sniffing round my boots. He will see us. Now. Send the carriage for Charlotte. I have an errand first. I must bid farewell to a friend. I can't leave London while she's still at Quigley's. What a loyal sister you are. Be loyal to me. who saw you stab the justice and you have what? In trying to dispatch him. It was an accident. A girl still lives who can name you as her attacker. I didn't see her. She moved into my path. His response to this disaster, which puts us all at risk, is to run. No, I was not running. At Thermopylae, the Spartans didn't flee. You were the Did liability, liability you drunk and off. careless oaf. This enmity will never do. Only together are we unassailable. We shall neither falter nor flinch. Will you tell the others? There's no need, unless you run. I have the Wells girl as my surety, and witnesses can perish. In Sparta, the defenses were impregnable, and deserters had their bollocks plowed into the soil. stabbed in the street yesterday. Mercifully, she clings to life. What concern is it of mine? I believe it was you that cut her down. I'm taking you to justice. Unless you have a hundred reputable men to declare it, you're making a mistake. Will you dress or come as you are? The magistrate has come for me. I'm accused of assailing the Scanwell girl. Your mother's lies have taken root. You think she has caused this? You must go to the Marquess of Blaine. Tell him that I am persecuted. I struggle to believe it of her. These past days... have been heaven. You speak as though they are over. I pray they are not. You are as soft as a kitten's belly, Lord Fallon. <laughs> Don't tell anyone.
I hope I am detained on more than that woman's work. Mrs. Wells has thrown herself upon a bonfire in the hope of dragging it. Demon with her. I wish I was so brave. We will finish hearing from Mrs. Quigley, then I will ask you some questions. Soon after he arrived, Lord Fallon cut short Miss Wells's visit to her older sister and escorted her to the carriage. They both embarked and, to the best of my knowledge, returned home. Can you confirm this? Yes. You both boarded the carriage and journeyed straight home without diversion? We did. You have my most profound apologies, Lord Fallon. I am sure Justice Hunt wishes to add his own. I'm truly sorry how events have unfolded. You impertinent wretch! <clears throat> My sweet angel of deliverance. She's overindulged. Come back and get her tomorrow. She's no prisoner here. What have you given her? I propose that we play a game. I don't care for your games. Well, that's because we haven't played the best one yet. It will leave you breathless, I promise. You have outstayed your welcome. We will play very soon, Miss Wells. You have no idea what it means to be outside my protection. It means I'm free of you. You septic cunt. The Lord Justice was going to spare your mother, but I implored him not to practically sign the warrant myself. guiding example like a brother you'll vouch for me with the others won't you i want to help you but the puritan you stabbed may wake and point her righteous finger i have an alibi i'm your mistress and a paid board you must be nipped little brother oh she's under the magistrate's roof Do it swiftly. Ah. Uh. 
Done to him what the Old Testament teaches. He was stifling my invalid child. And he pleaded and how, like a wet boy. You who told me killing is an art. My mother is dead because of how you used me. I didn't mean to use you. What I feel for you is true. Lala! He's one of the beasts who was coming for Emily Lacey. And for me. Kitty. You killed Kitty Carter. No. No, I did not. Stop her, please. Make him squeal, Lucy. It was Liddington. Did he hold her head while you sliced? Killed him. Not yet. We want them all. Liddington and who? I saw you were quickly, and the mockers are blind. Do you think I fear hanging? Go fetch your justice and his lumpen men. Let them do their worst. I don't think you understand. We are your judge and jury. Tell us what you know, or I'll release this avenging angel. Stab your fucking heart! Quigley brings us girls to spoil. What of Blaine? Is he your king? <laughs> Go out and say. It's Blaine! Blaine. <laughs> Do you think I'd stick as slow as you? My mother died to save my soul. I'd never tarnish it with you. Eddington, quickly. Blaine. We have him. You can die alone, or with your rapine friends. A signed confession. The law might be kind. He needs a day or two to think on what he's done. You're a killer. Same as me. Where's your confession? I didn't think anything would make me smile today. But that's such a pretty sight. Come on. You let women do this to you. <laughs> They'll pay. They'll pay. To the murders of Justice Cunliffe, a harlot Miss Carter, and to the wounding of Miss Scanwell. I did these acts alone, spurred only by my baleful nature. Damned by God and my fellow man, I see no other path but to take my own life.
it was hemlock. It was the knife. I die as I lived. 